for you using a ping pong ball. Cool. I'm going to take the ping pong ball, I'm going to toss it in the air, and I'm going to catch it right on my nose, and I'm going to balance it. Mm. You think I can do that? Yeah. yeah oh, well, yeah. no need to do that then. Yeah. Oh, you want me to do it? All right, here we go. Watch. Ping pong ball. It's a real ping pong ball. Here we go. We'll try. Here we go. Make sure it's not too high. Oh, look at that. I did it the first try. Look at that. Woohoo! Now put your hat Thank on you. it! Thank you! What? Put your hat on it! Uh, okay. <laughs> it's still there! Check it out! Say I'm Richard Abra! Can you do that? Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it's still on your nose! You know a better way? Did you know that? We all know that George Washington was the very first president of the United States. But did you know that not only did he serve two terms as president, but both times he was elected unanimously? George Washington served two terms as president of the United States of America. The first election was in 1789 and the second was in 1792. Each time, Washington was chosen unanimously, which means he received every single vote. The first presidential inauguration took place in New York City because from 1789 to 1790, New York City was the capital of the United States. When Washington was inaugurated as president for the second time, the ceremony took place in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania because it was our nation's capital from 1790 to 1800. George Washington died on December 14, 1799. Shortly after his death, the capital of the United States of America was moved to its final location, bordering the states of Virginia and Maryland and was named Washington, D.C. in honor of George Washington. Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm Tara Nicole Zarian with Did You Know That? Until next time, stay smart.
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, everywhere, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a horse, E-I-E-I-O. With a neigh neigh here and a neigh neigh there, here a neigh, there a neigh, everywhere a neigh. With a snort, snort here and a there, here, there, everywhere. With a moo moo here and a moo moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E I E I O. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, now this song is Old MacDonald, okay? Who likes, who likes farm animals? Raise your hand if you like farm animals. What kind of animals do you like? Pigs. Pigs. Like horses. horses. Cows. Cows. Dogs. Dogs. All right, well, we're going to, we're going to, penguins. Penguins. <laughs> oh, piglets. I was going to say. All right, so we're going to get started. You ready for Old McDonald? Yeah. All right, here we go.
rock star. Well, all right, let's get started. Give me a big smile. And how old are you? Five. You're five too. Can you look at the boys and girls? Oh, wow. And your name is Lily? Lily the rock star. Are you going to sing for us later, maybe? Let's see, for the rock star, we have to give her a big star in her eye. So should we do it in pink? And green or white? What color would you like it in? Purple? I have all the colors of the rainbow and then some. No, that's brown. <laughs> no, that's water, silly. <gasps> yellow. Okay, I'm going to use this yellow. And we are going to put that on your face. And it's going to tickle a little bit. And it's going to feel cold and wet, but it's not going to hurt. And I put your blush on. Are you ready? Okay, just close your eye. All right, great job. I know it feels weird, right? This is what Bubbles the Clown does to her face. And then later I'll go home and I'll take a bubble bath. All right. Ooh, what'd you make? You guys are just making all kinds of shapes. Looks easy when clowns do it, doesn't it? Doesn't it look easy when we do a balloon? And it's sometimes kind of tricky. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. So if I have any balloons left, you guys can take them home. And Isabella, I know your brother's going to want one too. Low and steady. Oh, he likes blue. Oh, do you have any brothers or sisters? I have one. You do. Have one. Oh my goodness! There's a party at your house every day. All right, let me put a little pink on that rock star face of yours, and then we're gonna give you some eyeshadow. That's gonna look awesome. In fact, I think I'm gonna do the eyeshadow right now. Okay, you close your other eye, close your eyes, good girl. You're listening very good, I'm gonna make this green and that's your shirt. And then, we'll do some pink around it. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. Hey, if anyone wants to look like a clown, like Bubbles, you could be Bubbles Jr. <laughs> okay, close your eye again. Awesome. I want gems on my stuff. Yes, but I do have sparkles. I'll make you shine, don't you worry. All right, and let's do some pink around your star. Oh, you are almost done. You're gonna look in that mirror and say, like, what did you do, <laughs> You're gonna be singing a song for us. Okay. Beautiful, let's give you some lipstick. Now, you're a rock star, so we could do paint or we could do lipstick. What color lips would you like having? You want some purple or crazy lips? What would you like? Sparkle lips. Well, that's a given. I was going to put sparkle lips on you anyway. So let's do that. Let's do something crazy. We'll do a little squiggly of some purple. And we'll get out my little paintbrush that I use for lips. All right, and we'll get out my, you could tap that one, this is for, all right, and we're going to do purple. You ready? And this may tickle, but it's not going to hurt. Oh, look at you. Okay, look at me. I'll show you in the mirror, and then you can see. And now we got to do some sparkles. But first, I want to make your eyelash, look at her, she's a rock star. She gonna rock out on us today? <laughs> I know, she said she looked funny. <laughs> what about me? Do I look funny? <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so sweet. My mom showed me her wedding dress. She did? And was it beautiful? Oh, that's nice. Well, this is the cloud is married, and I have a wedding dress. I bet you think it has polka dots all over it too, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, this isn't my wedding dress, silly goose. She's so funny. I should have made her look like a clown. Should we show her what she looks like? Okay, rock star. <laughs> show everybody. She's so silly. <laughs> Hey kids, Professor Angel here. Are you ready to have some fun with science today? So today we're gonna to learn about copper oxide. What's copper oxide? 
Copper oxide is the dark, yucky stuff on the outside of a penny. Look. What we're going to do is make it go away. The way how copper oxide comes into creation is when a penny and air collide and it creates copper oxide. So what we're going to do is we're going to get an adult to help us. You want to get one plastic bowl. We're going to put a quarter of a cup of white vinegar in the bowl. Then we want to get one teaspoon of salt. And we're going to stir it in until all the salt disappears. And once the vinegar goes clear, it means all the salt has dissolved. Then you want to take a regular old penny that you can find in mom or dad's possession. Just ask mom or dad or you can find it under a sofa, anywhere practically. So you're going to take your penny. And we're going to dip it down in the vinegar. And we're going to keep it there for 15 to 20 seconds. And the best way to count is saying Mississippi. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, 11 Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 14 Mississippi, 15 Mississippi. Ay, 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 that's a lot of Mississippis. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our penny out and look. All the copper oxide has been removed. Remember, copper oxide is the dark, yucky stuff on the outside of a penny. And we're going to compare our old penny to our newer penny. So kids, I hope you had a lot of fun with our science experiment today. Just remember, science is always fun. Hi, my name is Michael Thomas. Welcome to Michael's Tony Adventures. Today's adventure is going to ten in German. People from Germany speak German. Today, I've invited my new friend, Florian, to help us count. Hi, Florian. Hi, Michael. Will you help us count to ten in German? Of course I will. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Great job. Now, let's count together. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Great job. Are you guys ready to count? Let's count. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Great job, everybody. Thank you, Florian, for all this count. You're welcome. See you next time on Michael's Counting Adventures. Once upon a time, there was a very handsome prince. Oh, he had a big castle, and, and he was very, very rich, and he was very handsome and very wonderful, but he was not married. He wasn't married because the only thing he cared about was playing soccer. Oh, yeah, he loved it. He would bounce it off his head. Bump, bump, bump. He would bounce it off his knee. Bump, bump, bump. He would bounce it off his toe. Bump, bump, bump. He loved to play soccer. Women would come from all over, and they would pose for him. They would say hello, and he wouldn't pay any attention. He was too busy playing soccer. Finally, three of the most beautiful girls in all of the kingdom decided, we are the most beautiful girls in all the kingdom. I'm sure he would notice us if we went to go see him. We must bring our most beautiful clothes and our most beautiful shoes and our most beautiful hats and he will notice us. And as soon as they got all that stuff together, they realized it was a lot of luggage. They did not want to carry it. One of them said, I have a cousin. She's very plain. She doesn't, she's not very pretty. She'd be perfect to carry our luggage. And so the plain cousin came and she got all the luggage on the carts and she got into the train. And they went across the countryside. And when they finally got to the prince's castle, all three women got dressed up in the most beautiful clothes and they went and stood before the prince. 
and they blink their eyes. Blink, 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 blink. Do you think he noticed them? No. He was too busy playing soccer. He bumped it off his head. Bump, bump, bump. He bumped it off his knee. Bump, bump, bump. He bumped it off his toe. Bump, bump, bump. He did not notice them. And they said, we must get him to notice us. And one of them said, oh, you know what I think we need? We need new dresses. So they went to town and they got new dresses. And boy, were they dresses. They were huge. They were big petticoats. And one of them had strings and one of them had glitter and they had lace and they had feathers. They were just huge. And when they walked in those dresses, they went swish, 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 swish. And they went over to where he was and they posed. Swish, 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 swish. Blink, 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 blink. Do you think he noticed them? No, he was too busy playing soccer. He bounced it off his head. Bump, bump, bump. He bounced it off his knee. Bump, bump, bump. He bounced it off his toe. Bump, bump, bump. And they said, we must get him to notice us. Oh, what do we need? One of them said, I know. We need new hats. And so they took themselves off to town to get new hats. And boy, did they get hats. They were huge. They had feathers and strings. And one of them had a lot of fruit on it. Those hats were so fancy and so exotic, they made this sound. Cha, 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 a cha, 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 cha. And so they went out to where the prince was and the hats were going. A cha, 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 a cha, 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 cha. And the dresses were going swish, 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 swish. And they posed and they went blink, 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 blink. Do you think he noticed them? No, he was too busy playing soccer. He bounced the ball off his head. Bump, bump, bump. He bounced it off his knee. Bump, bump, bump. He bounced it off his toe. Bump, bump, bump. And they said, we must get him to notice us. I know, said one, we need new shoes. And they went into town and they got some shoes. Boy, did they get shoes. They're all, they were so high. They were almost a foot tall. They had strings and feathers and lace. And when you moved, they went, because they were so heavy you could barely walk in them. And so they went out where he was, and the shoes were going, and the hats were going, a cha 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 a cha 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 And the dresses were going, swish, 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 But when they got over there, do you remember the plain cousin who was carrying their baggage? She was already over there, and she was wearing soccer shoes, and soccer socks, and shorts, and a t-shirt, and she had a ball and she bounced it off her head. Bump, 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 and she bounced it off her hip. Bump, and she bounced it off her knee. Bump, 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 and she bounced it off her toe. Bump, 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 and she caught it right in the crook of her, her, her ankle. And do you think the prince noticed her? Oh yeah. He said, how did you do that? She said, I'll be happy to show you. And the two of them started walking off. And those girls in those fancy clothes said, wait for us. And they tried to run, but you know, those shoes were going, eh, eh. they fell right over on their faces. And their dresses went everywhere. And there was fruit and lace and string. It was a big mess. The prince noticed them then. He started laughing. <laughs> and he and the cousin went off to play soccer. And as far as I know, they're still playing soccer. But now they have lots of children to play with them. And that is the story of the prince and the soccer ball. <laughs> what happens when an egg laps? I don't know. It cracks up. <laughs> what do you do if you find Jaws in the bathtub? What? Pull the plug out fast. <laughs> <laughs> Why did the turkey cross the road? I don't know to prove he wasn't chicken. <laughs> Why do bees always hum? Because you, I don't know. Because they don't know the words to the songs. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there, cow? Cow who? No, cow go moo.